Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. In the previous session, we worked with a for loop and showed the last four news in three different frames. Now we are going to use other techniques as well okay uh, again i go to the news list where we have a for ring for counting the news list page okay uh, here we said in the for ring we can use a variable called for loop dot counter okay and the values again from one to uh, have been set next to these buttons. These are the things that we did before. Now we want the values to start from 100 and not from 1. In order to add or deduct values in the template, here we say for the variable, here it is for loop.counter, we add a straight vertical line and we say add colon. Okay, for instance, 100. Now 101, 102, 103, 104, and it starts showing the counting from 100. Now we may need to add the values together in the template or deduct them. We use the add technique. Now in my counter, my counter is not 0. To start from 0, I give it a minus 1. And as you see, it starts from 0. And I can say minus 4 and uh, it is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and 0. So we can use a straight vertical line to add the values or to deduct them. Okay, uh, I used for loop. You can use any other variable. We could have two variables. Uh, for instance, we have some variables on a bill and we want to add them together, we say for loop.counter and again we can say add those values together. Okay. 